So hi, hello. I know that most of you here probably know me as the person who melted my hair off. That's all you really know me for. And now you're like, what? Why are we gonna be talking about manual optical magnifying lenses? Because that's what I wanna be talking about. What's a manual optical magnifying lens? It's any kind of physical lens. It manually magnifies something. So think binoculars, telescopes, microscopes, kaleidoscopes, periscopes, etc. Those are all under manual optical magnifying lenses. Glasses and cameras are also included. Now I just feel that physically they share a lot of traits, but energy wise they have very distinct energies. That's why I want to break down today are those energies that these manual optical magnifying lenses have. You may have some very opposing opinions and I want to hear where you are on the debate, but I think I can win you over to joining my opinion. My ranking system, the top ranking that you can get is ooh hoo hoo. That just means I'm like that gets me excited. I'm just like, that is the coolest annual optical magnifying lens. That's so cool, so sick. You are a sicko if you use it. You look cool as hell when using that device. Next level is sexy features, which means like you're not fully all sexy, but you have sexy features that I'm like, that's really cool. I really, really appreciate that, but that's not all of you. That's just part of your personality, but it doesn't define you, you know? You're more than that, but I don't really care for that part that is more. The next level down is you look like every other bitch here, which just means if you're using this device, you look like every other bitch here. You do not stand out from the crowd at all. I'm not double taking to look at you. You just look like every other bitch here. But I'm also not negative about it. I don't feel disgust. I don't feel like you look dumb for using this device. I just think you look like every other bitch here. Level down from that is dummy doofus. That means that you do look dumb and kind of like a doofus for using this device. It doesn't necessarily mean that the device is bad. I should state my stance that all manual optical magnifying lenses are good inherently. It's just that you don't always look super cool, but none are inherently bad. But yeah, so sometimes you look like a dummy doofus using some of these, and that would be for that category. The last category at the bottom is, I said no! I said no! which means just I say no to this device. I think that you should not be using this device. And I say no, let's get going. So first off we have the telescoping monocular telescope. So this is like what you see pirates using. It's monocular, meaning you no know, binoculars are like this. Monocular is just one, but telescoping means, you would think it means a telescope, but telescoping really just means that like it extends. So um, it's a monocular, it starts on one side and then you go like ch -ch -ch -ch. So that's what that is. So for that one, I mean, she's the OG. You know, she was around in the very early ages. Um, this one's a hard one. This one's a hard one. Cause you know, stance wise, you look okay using this. Like the one hold, sometimes the two handed hold, it's pretty cool. It kind of looks like you're trying to deep throat it, you know, like two handed grip, but it still looks kind of cool. You know, like you're gazing out far away and i like that it's you know vintage it's got that vintage vibe to it it's also got that pirate vibe to it if you're into that but it's not as sexy as some of the other ones on the list <sighs> hmm. but also you don't look like every other bitch here so i'm gonna have to put this in sexy features that is where i'm putting it next is the dslr camera. So for this one, I already know where I'm putting her or him, especially for the language I'm about to use here. I don't want to ascribe it a gender because you look like every other bitch here. The DSLR camera, like they're great, but when I see someone using it, like I don't bat an eye. You look like every other bitch here. I don't turn my head at all. I don't think like that's really cool. Like they've been around for quite a while now. It doesn't feel like novel technology, but yet they also don't really feel vintage. They just, honestly, that category was made because of the DSLR camera. I was like, you look like every other bitch here. That's its category. I don't even know if any other items are gonna go in that category. It's solely made for that. Next up is, is it fucking raining outside? 
It's raining outside. Okay, well, if you hear noise, it's rain. Oh, it's thundering too. I love thunder. Okay, up next is the kaleidoscope. And immediately my mind jumps to, actually, I'm torn. I'm torn on this one. I don't know if I should go sexy features or ooh hoo 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 Because like, yeah, it's got the sexy features that it creates all those cool, fun colors. But also, isn't that enough? Shouldn't that be enough to make me go ooh hoo 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 Is that not enough anymore? Then I'd be thrilled for that kind of stuff. Shouldn't that beauty in life make me happy? I don't know. Maybe it's just sexy features for me now. She just doesn't do it for me anymore. Also, sorry, that's my cat. He screams. Hi, Bean. Bean. Up next is the long range telescope. Different from the telescoping monocular telescope. This is like your science space telescope. This is Bean. This one, as cool as telescopes themselves are, because like you get to look into outer space, I just think like you look like a dummy doofus when you use them. Because you gotta hunch over and like kneel down. You're just like, you're in such a compromising position when you use one of these. And that to me just makes me automatically associated with dummy doofus. Giving mad dummy doofus energy. You would think that I might want to put in sexy features because it does look into outer space. But the dummy doofiness of how you have to use it negates that. It cancels it out. But it also can't go into you look like every other bitch here because that is reserved for cameras. So she is going home to dummy doofus. Next, there are tactical monoculars, which sound like they're cool, but they're kind of the fuck boys of the manual optical magnifying lenses. They are tactical for what? You know, like what situation would you need that? They're still just one thing, but you can't even like have it extend far. They're usually very tiny. They're kind of handheld. I think this is also dummy doofus. You look a little silly. It gives very QAnon energy, you know? If you know, you know. Okay, up next we have the magnifying glass. Now, the magnifying glass, she gives a lot of energy of like, book smarts, you're inquisitive, you're curious, you know. You've got a little little puzzle to solve, but is she sexy? Then I'd have to answer the question, is being intelligent sexy? Which, yes it is. Now I also have to consider the posture that one uses with a magnifying glass. Usually stooped a bit. Ah! This is good, this gives titties, you know? I wouldn't go as far to say ooh hoo hoo cause I know that reaction, that's very Marie Kondo, does it spark joy? And this one doesn't spark joy, but it does have sexy features. Yeah, that's where it's going. Okay, so next we have glasses which are manual and optical and magnifying and literal lenses. I think this is where I'm gonna lose some of you guys because I'm putting this in I said no. Yeah, that's right, I said no because I was out in the trenches wearing glasses back in like 1995 to 07, which if you wore glasses back then, in a not so accepting place. You would know that it was not cool back then. And I was one of the only people with glasses and it was not cool at all. And then all of a sudden in like 2008, it became cool to have glasses, but that's exactly when I stopped wearing glasses. So just out of spite, I am putting glasses and I said no, just because people these days don't understand what it was like to have to wear glasses back in the day. I say as if I'm a fucking war veteran. Uh, it really wasn't that bad. But you know, childhood is bad, okay? <laughs> childhood sucks. Kids are mean. <laughs> and I'm not over it. <laughs> Anyways, so that's in. I said, no! Next, moving on from that brief reopening of a wound, we have microscopes like a lab or a scientist would use. I am torn between three categories here. Does it go in sexy features because it's science? You can look at cells. Or does it go in you look like every other bitch here? Because it's just, they're everywhere now. You know, every scientist uses this. Everyone who's gone to high school has used one of these. Or does it go in dummy doofus because you're so hunched over, you know? Like, I don't, hmm. I'm not sure. This is a really hard one. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna put it in dummy doofus just because I also remember when using microscopes, like your field of vision around you feels so limited and you're just stuck in this little tube. Whereas using the other ones, you it feels like your field of vision is expanded. This one, it feels like you're sucked in, which isn't as exciting sometimes, you know? I like when I get to feel like I'm, I'm a small little ant 
in this big, big pond. But being in a microscope is very intimate, you know? It's just you and that cell in there at that moment, which you think is a sexy feature, and it kind of is, but it's also just, I don't know, it's a little, it's a little too intimate and creepy. Just you and that cell, no one else. I don't know, I like to go outward instead of inward like that. Actually, this whole existential feeling I'm getting from microscopes now, making me gonna put it in, I said no. Just forget about microscopes. Now everybody clap your hands because it is time for the periscope. <laughs> Which I'm not putting in ooh hoo hoo, but it does have sexy features because you don't look super cool when using it, but just the periscope itself, you're in a submarine, you're, you're peering up and looking around. It's cool. It is so cool. I've never looked through one. But oh boy, do I wish. So I'm gonna put Periscope in sexy features. Honorable mention in there. Like it, it could go in ooh hoo hoo. And ooh hoo hoo hoo. Now it's time for the big one. It is binoculars. And here my case. Binoculars are sexy as fuck. Just the look of peering out, you know? Okay, they're just artsy. It's a new perspective. You're very in control. You're two-handing it. Oh, the telescoping monocular. Uh, it's kind of like a blowjob style. This one is just a hamburger style, you know? You also, unlike the microscope where it looks inward, you look outward and you get that expansive view. Which, unlike a space telescope, which you look very far and it feels distant, this feels close enough and like you can actually go visit that place, you know? It's like you're teleporting to somewhere nearby which is really nice. You can use them to look at birds. It's like you're just zooming in with your eyes, but just aesthetically binoculars look nice. It's been drawn upon in art by Wes Anderson. Why do you always use binoculars? It helps me see things closer, even if they're not very far away. I pretend it's my magic power. Uh, in the Riptide music video. She's been living on the high shelf. Because binoculars are icons in the way that they change our perception, in the way that they look, in the way that we hold them. Also, posture-wise, it's usually here and a slight move forward. It usually makes you open up the chest, proud, you know? You feel confident when you see someone sheepishly hold binoculars, you know? Like, give someone a pair of binoculars and they stand up a little bit taller. If you are feeling down, go get a pair of binoculars and I think you're gonna feel a little bit better today. You know, they're a little vintage. I just think they're, they're sick as hell. Also, I don't know if this impacts my personal bias, but the main times that I've used binoculars was at my house that I grew up in and it was mostly to look at turkeys. My mom gets very excited. She goes, ooh hoo hoo when she sees the turkeys in the field. Uh, so whenever they saw the turkeys, they'd be like, oh, go run, get the binoculars. And then we go look at the turkeys. Unfortunately, they have been selling hunting licenses recently to hunt the turkeys. Oh my god, when I say they, I mean the people who own the field behind our house, not my parents. My parents are not selling hunting license to kill turkeys, sorry. So the population of turkeys has gone way, way down, but we still get really excited to see the turkeys. So that's my emotional, personal relationship with binoculars, so that might be impacting my bias here. But all the other facts still stand. They just make me go, <laughs> they just make me so happy, you know? They spark joy. They're so neat. And that's why, I mean, I can't say that I have that reaction for any of the other manual optical magnifying lenses. I just don't. I can't lie about my emotions like that. That's why it can be the only one at the top there. So there we have it. I mean, binoculars clearly taking their place at the top at ooh hoo hoo. Then in sexy features, we have the telescoping monocular telescope, we have the kaleidoscope, we have the magnifying glass, and the periscope. Then in you look like every other bitch here, we have the DSLR camera. In dummy doofus, we have the long range telescope and we have the monocular tactical telescope. My bad, the tactical monocular, how could I forget? And then in I said no, we have glasses and the microscope. I think this is all very fair. That's just how he meows. I swear, he's like not in pain. That's like just how he meows. He's Siamese. I have an emotional and a logical attachment to each of these responses. So I feel very confident in them, but I would love to hear your opinion as well. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> that's the video. Um, and I might make another video sometime soon. I have some ideas. 
get a little creative now and then. So stick around if you want to, but no pressure. Have a good day. <laughs> Bean says bye as well. <laughs>